looking at the book for this walk. I don't want to risk the uh, the radio, man. It's too depressing. It's it's such a long shot. It's like, do you realize the odds of getting a good song? It's like it's a uh, it's depressing. I don't. You get a get a commercial or something. You know, maybe it, maybe you have to do a really good offering, but it's just too depressing. Uh, anyway, so uh, so we got the. Uh, the uh, the heavy book, you know. The anyway, could bring the Bible. Why don't you do that? Eh? What if we go the other direction? Huh? What's up there? Oh fuck yeah, we gotta go the other direction. Wait a minute. What's gonna happen? You think we're gonna like? You know, we have a safe thing. What if we get more niggers? <laughs> That's the other one's not so safe. Uh, oh well. We gotta go. We gotta patrol the neighborhood. Just think of the poor. Oh my God! Can you imagine being like a, a Vietnam? Oh my God! Can you imagine going? This is like shit, isn't it? <laughs> I'm in. I'm, okay, that puts it in perspective, doesn't it? So we're on patrol. We're humping it. No problem. I was just kidding. I wasn't actually afraid of my neighbor. It just sounded funny. I wasn't afraid of neighbors. Are you kidding me? Anyway, so uh, so uh, what, what are we talking about? But I was afraid of uh, of uh, not being able to find a spot to sit, even though the other spot wasn't any good. Nevertheless, um, once you find a habit that works. It's, uh, well, you know what I mean. Fuck it. Okay, so, uh, damn it, my stack overflowed. Fucking, so, shit. I hate when that happens. So we got this one. Fuck. What did you do, Terry? You got too cocky with the fucking patrol shit and your fucking stack overflowed. Stupid. Hey, this is a dead end. I didn't, or no, it's not. Uh, obviously, I don't go here. Why would I, you know? What do we got? So, one time the dog ran away. A different dog. There was the dog that I, uh... So we had a dog that I used to take to the store because I go to the store and, like, uh... So uh, I like uh, left it parked outside the, the store, right on a leash, and uh, I, I I used to go to the store so often I, I forgot the dog, and I and like so uh, um, well that was the end of the dog. And, um, so uh, do you, hey, you think we should sit somewhere? That's pretty crazy. We don't want, no we don't want to go sit. Okay, we had enough fun. So, uh, uh, this is quiet. It's a nice, I think this is more, is it more of a dead end? No, it's just a, it's just a day. Obviously, you don't get traffic in the day. So, uh, was I, wish I could. Hey, this is a spot. Pleasant. Hey, if I'm not, this is, this is not going to Diana. So this is. Okay, so, uh, hey, look at that. We got palm trees. It's poetic. Palm trees. So like when I'm not talking, I should just aim it at that, eh? Oh, we got God, oh, you idiot. Let's get God, eh? God says, Friday, February 27th, Friday after Ash Wednesday, entrance song. The Lord heard, heard me and took pity on me. He came to my help. Reading Isaiah, Matthew, Psalm response, Psalm. A quiet, contrite, and humble, a heart contrite and humble, O oh God, you will not spurn. 
communion song. Teach us your ways, O Lord. Lead us in your paths. So I, I might have had a, uh, I did have a uh, Protestant uh, hymnal at one point that I found. This is, I guess, from my parents or something. But anyway, so, uh, So I used to get, the last time I went to church was 2004, 2003. I was like really, really agitated, wound up like on caffeine. And the priest was like particularly slow. And it was just too much for me. I walked out of the church and as I, as I was, he was just, he was walking around the altar extra dramatically. I was going, oh, fuck this fucking drama queen. So as I walked out, God said, uh, or the, the, they were doing a reading and it said, if God is for you, who can be against you? So I was like, okay, works for me, that's the end. So like sometimes they, sometimes the church dro gets rid of uh, wolves from the sheep. The, the, the priest, his main job is getting rid of the wolves from the sheep. So that's, that's what they do. And uh, anyway. It's pretty normal, I think, for a prodigal son. I think that's the best. I think what the church really wants is a prodigal son. That's that's the ideal is a prodigal son. That's what that's the best. Oh, that's there we go. I'm happy. I got my stack overflow fixed. Oh, okay. So, so like, some kid was really liked my my. Um, my vlog, and uh, I got to thinking uh, Solomon, the Queen of Sheba, came to listen at Solomon's feet. He was really good at wisdom, and uh, so I've been, I, I, I am pretty special because I've talked to God 20 years, been tutored and stuff. You know, now that I think about it, there really are, what about all the priests and stuff? There really are, but do they talk to God? Does God talk to them? You know, I think, you know, I, I, that's an interesting point of question. If you randomly open a book, God will talk. And I think a lot of monks figure that out. I wonder how many monasteries figure that out. As a, uh, do you just not tell the young monks and let them figure it out? Anyway, uh, so, uh, uh, so I have a lot of wisdom. You know what? I realized something. You know a godfather gangster? Some of those people have a lot of wisdom too. And you know what? Um, you know, it, that, that suddenly wisdom doesn't look so, you're not so proud of having wisdom. If you've been in romantic relationships and had breakups and if you got a lot of miles under your belt, then, uh, you get wisdom, you know, wisdom, that's how, that's how wisdom comes, and, you know, it, um, I, I used to, you know, I, of course I want wisdom, don't I want wisdom? Now it's kind of like, well, you get wisdom, whether you want it or not, and if you don't want it, it doesn't really matter, you know, you, wisdom is something you get, whether you want it or not, and uh, the card coming. I, I guess you do want it, but uh, but I don't really. You know, if, when you think about how a criminal can get a lot of wisdom, then uh, suddenly it's kind of like, oh, lovely. I have a lot of wisdom. <laughs> Anyway. Sit down and calculate the cost. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. We will diminish the EFA, add, add to the shekel, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly for silver and the poor for a pair of sandals. Even a refuge of the wheat, wheat we will sell. 
the Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, never will I forget a thing they have done. The word of the Lord.